Sprint by Fitch. I wonder if RAL 1963 supplied the badges. This is John Fitch's personal demonstrator. The last Fitch Sprint built. And he used the car, I believe, up until 1969. Owned by the Corvair Preservation Foundation. Restoration dedicated to the memory of Cecil Miller. Thanks to Pete Simbala, Clark Hartzell, Dave Newell, and Tony Bitsiak. Uh, Course of Ohio restored John Fitch's personal demo. I'm here with Mr. Napa Corvair, and he made a video too, so I won't bore you with all the details. Signed by John Fitch, true American hero. 140, boosted up to 170 horsepower. Got the 904 vent top, flash to pass. 1966 Corsa Fitch Sprint, and I have one too in Indiana. Classic lines of the Corvair with the hands wheels. I wonder how the VINs compare in our two cars. This one is... Oops. The sequence number is... It's a Willow Run car. 11373. I wonder what the VIN is on mine. It's 11373. We're at the... Saratoga Springs Auto Museum in the former bottling plant on the second floor. And we got Franklin's, Charles Lindbergh's Franklin, Pierce Arrows, we got the Playboy, same font, Playboy, Terrytown, New York, auto manufacturing facility, Maxwell was built there, then GM, got some Krager race cars, and an Allard J2 with a Chrysler engine. Aller J2. I'm not going to do a big tour of this place, just a quick walk around. Got some, what do they call these sprint cars? Don't know much about these cars. I didn't, didn't ever go to a race. Wow, this is an old Rand Special. 1936. Manufactured in 1936. Racing is nothing new. Here's a 1938 V8 Maserati. Dual exhaust. Serious machine. Beautiful casting work. Machining. Beautiful stuff. It's even got a place to put a crank through and crank her up. Bridge Midget V8 Flathead. This is in rough shape. Yep. Full floating axles. Made to take a beating. Small block Chevy powered? Nope. Yes, it is. Small block Chevy. Somebody got hungry and ate the tire. Yeah. Somebody was nibbling. A six cylinder powered Ferrari. Experimental. Big fuel filler. Hard haul Ferrari. Experimental. Krager Special. Charles Lindbergh Franklin. Long Island Specialty Car Makers. And the Playboy. Nobody wanted a small car. 1947 Playboy. And the last thing I'm going to show you upstairs after we finish looking at this Fitch Sprint is what happens when you have a warm roof. Water runs to the edge, freezes, runs up backwards, and drips inside your building, causing damage and destruction. Hear it? Yep. Ice dams, not a good thing. Causing damage and destruction. Let's go on downstairs. Sprint by John Fitch. We'll go downstairs and we'll check out the East Coast, Right Coast hot rods, which are 
just downstairs. Then we're heading off to garage night at the Rolling Bones Garage.